The search continues for a missing military jet in South Carolina. Our Tyler Mannion joins us now live from outside the Marine Corps Air Station of Beaufort, where this plane is from. Tyler, what's the very latest this evening? Don, this missing F-35 is a part of the Marine Fighter Attack Squadron based right here in Beaufort. But right now, we're told it could be anywhere in the state of South Carolina. The whole situation leaving Congressman Nancy Race, who represents this district, with a lot of questions. I've received a lot of phone calls from local leaders who are frustrated with the lack of transparency and the lack of information. And we're talking about an $80 million jet. How does it just disappear? And how does the Pentagon ask for the public's help in finding it? Um, it's just a huge embarrassment. Air Station Buford has pointed us to the overarching unit they belong to for comment, that being the 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing, who tells us they're gathering more information and assessing the situation. They say there will be an investigation into what caused the plane's mishap, but for any real answers here, they'll need to find this plane first. Congressman Mace, with all of those questions, we're going to work to bring you into more of her frustrations coming up on the news at 6. She says she had a briefing earlier today with the Marine Corps where she was expecting to get answers. She says she didn't get any of them, though. Again, like I said, we're going to work to bring you into more of what she had to say coming up for the news at 6. But for now, we're reporting live in Beaufort, Tyler Mannion, WTOC News.